God, you're tall. I am. Hello, my name's Rob, otherwise known as Who's Five, and I'm with my good friend, Pirelli. How are you? Good. 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 So yeah, basically, he's my cameraman for whenever my arm isn't long enough. And I'm in Minecon, and I made it, and I'm nervous about doing this. I don't know why, because other people are as well, but I'm just like, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little... So yeah, I made it to Minecon. We made it to Minecon, I should rather say. And it's intimidating, to say the least. Yeah. Intimidating, to say the least. And I'm bad at vlogging in public, but it's just like, the, you can open out, up. Open up in here, out in here-ish. Thingy, I don't know. Life. I, I, I don't know what the correct term is. Open out, open it, up, in. Like, don't be embarrassed. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Okay. So, hopefully this microphone works well. Hopefully. Yeah. Or otherwise, bad things will happen to me. I'm just gonna have video of you talking. <laughs> Yeah, right. Let's move along. Let's move along. Still in Minecon. Like, this is still day one, and I haven't interviewed anyone. I wanted to. That was the point of me bringing this bare microphone. But I just guess I don't have the guts. <laughs> I don't have the guts for it. Like, I'm perfectly fine as soon as I put the camera on and the mic on. I'm just like, I don't care about people around me. I'll talk. But. It's the actual walking up to the person and be like, hey, you want to just quick chat for five minutes? But the worst thing is, we are, I actually had like two hours where I could have done it. Because there was um, no events on that we wanted to do for an hour and there was a half an hour break between the events, so we had two hours. But I just didn't. I just didn't do it. But this isn't really the type of convention that would do it, though. Go, go think. There's plenty of old enough people for me to walk up to and don't seem creepy to ask to talk to, but still, they're you're with the kids, and I'm just like, okay, maybe I shouldn't. But I've seen people that I, I really want to interview, though. Like, well, not interview, just ask questions. You know, like there was this one one girl she for the costume thing that she dressed up as Iron Knight, Iron from. The world of my night, and I think it was pretty cool. Like she did a very good job at it. She's all purple. She even had a staff. I've been liking Minecon so far, apart from that two hours of doing nothing. But we didn't really do nothing. We did go around and have a better look at everything, except the little world, which we should be doing tomorrow. Just because I'm sure there's a couple of events that we don't actually want to see, so we'd actually have a good, a good proper look at it. I need to stop looking at myself. Yes, hello! My name's Rob, otherwise known as Hughes 5 and I am at Minecon, and at the moment, I've got my friend Pirelli as cameraman. Say hello, Pirelli. Hello. <laughs> need to do that in editing. Right, so, at the moment, we're at the Pet Zoo of Minecraft. Pirelli, Pet Zoo. Pet Zoo. Pet Zoo. And as far as I can tell, they're pretty damn good quality. Like, you can go up to them, you can touch them, you can interact with them. People don't really seem to mind, but it's a lot more people than I thought there would be just just to talk about that. So at the moment, it is day two, and it's been an eventful couple of days. A couple of days has been an eventful first day yesterday. I wanted, I wanted to chat to people yesterday, but I just haven't got the guts to do it, and I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Pirelia will vouch for me that I just don't have the guts to talk to people. Yeah. 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 No. No. But maybe today. Just. Just maybe. You never know. I might actually get the guts. Probably not. But maybe. Just maybe. The creepers in the cage. So as far as I know, everything here is made out of wood and they try to replicate as much blockiness as they can. I have no idea who the hell the artist is, but 
did a pretty good job, I say. Yesterday we saw a video of this getting put all together, and it seemed like a lot of work from my point of view, and from everyone else's, I would assume. Thank Good God things. for ca thank God for camera work. <laughs> oh, this thing just tried to face track on that pig. Did it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's something. Real busy here. As he's showing. This is good. Show the hectic. So, in fact, yesterday Guinness gave Minecon a world record for the most amount of people at one game convention. Pirelli, is that sounding right? So, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, Minecon is part of the Guinness World Records now, and technically, all the 10,000 people here are also part of it because without that, they wouldn't be the record. So, I kind of feel proud of myself. <laughs> as well as everyone else here. Hopefully. But, yeah. Hopefully I'll get to chat to people soon-ish. Until then, let's chat again. Or something sounding good like that. I don't know how to end these things. Let's just go, it's over. Day two is coming to an end slowly. And haven't done exactly what I really wanted to do. But I finally met Finn's Graphics. Finn's Graphics, great artist, great colorant. His older brother, he does a lot of the line work, so he's sketch artist, basically. And at the moment, we're in another part of the art, basically. It's not that far from the real life, well, not real life Penzu, but real life sized animals and to, well, scale. And at the moment, we're in the art department and it's actually really damn good like at the moment a lot of it got signed saying do not touch because most of us went around just picking it up and thinking damn this is heavy because a lot of it is actually made out of iron stone uh, not real gold but something very similar like this stone sword actually has stone on it it's, it's ridiculous. It's actually quite heavy. A lot of people had to pick it up with two hands. Luckily, you know, me being a biggish guy, I could pick it up with one. But even then, it was awkward. It was quite heavy. Headless chicken in more ways than one. I don't... I don't understand it. All I know is somehow it's art. I'm no good with art. So one of the things about the swords is there is no diamond one. There's this obsidian looking one which actually has metal in it and which is definitely heaviest by far if not the iron pickaxe which actually has actual iron welded to it it's definitely heaviest by far and if my cameraman works properly you have seen it a long time before he showed it damn you my cameraman but honestly i don't think i would have been able to talk to this at all without him because without him, I would not have pulled my camera out, I would not have pulled my microphone out and actually started talking. So, yeah, I kind of owe him for that. And then you've got the mystical book of Minecraft. And if you actually come over here, you can actually see very small writing on one of the pages with what I assume is recipes of some form. Like you've got the, iron, the bucket of water, the bucket of lava and some other things like torches, blocks of some form. I really don't know. The handwriting is impossible to read. I can make out a couple of things, but not really. Now this, I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's like a Japanese version of a creeper, a ender dragon, a steve warrior, and a great vase? Vase? Things you put plants in? That's a cool dragon. What the heck do you think it's made out of? Blocks of some form. Come on, it's Minecraft. It's always blocks. Now, at the moment, we've got the desert temple. This is half the desert temple. But the base, best thing is, there's actually a proper-ish to scale version just over there where you can sit on. I'm pretty sure it's got an interactive thing just behind it. I'm pretty sure it's got a sign saying don't sit on it also. Also, yeah, that. I'm pretty sure it's got that as well. Here, this is the... Water Guardian Temple thing, Prelia, am I saying this right? <laughs> yes, I'm getting a good nod. And that's also got a scaled version somewhere. We saw it somewhere yesterday, I don't know where it is now though. All I know is my battery low, 
and Minecon has been actually pretty much amazing. Can't figure out what the hell this is. Yeah, why didn't you comment if you do? Exactly, listen to him. <laughs> Those trees though. But that's a lot of work. Yeah, that's a better one. That, yeah. Over there, at a distance, it's easier to see everyone running around. Yes. You know I have to switch between flipping tracks now, because you could get closer to that. Well, Make more work for me, thanks, man. You said you like editing. Ah, uh, I know, I complain about editing, but I love it. I would, I would, I would love that as a job. This is actually a lot quieter today than it was yesterday. Like, insanely quieter. I don't understand it. Well, we say that now, but... Oh, everyone could just be getting ready to sit in the main... Yeah. The main stage. Because it's, yeah, it, it's coming to an end and it's slowly dragging out. Just slowly. Okay, it's been dragging out for the last two hours for us because we didn't want to go to an event. Just because none of the ones we all was on, we wanted to view. So my Minecon trip is officially over and it has been since Monday. I wanted to edit this yesterday, which would have been Tuesday, as well as add this little bit. But I didn't have enough time and I wanted to add this little bit on Monday actually, but I wanted to edit all that first and then add this. And just to finish it off, I want to show you what came in this. This is the bag of Minecon 2015. Um, as you can see there-ish, possibly viewfinder, yes, okay. <laughs> So yeah, also, this, this didn't want to come off, this was basically on for life, um, so, but here, these two holes, there's a plastic bit that would clip together, but when they've clipped together, that's it, they don't want to come off unless if you want to break them, and obviously I have to break them off, but the main thing is, this is still intact. Like, none, none of it got ripped or anything, so that's the main thing. Thing, the bag, the bag is a hint to what is the cape of Minecon 2015, and as you can see, it is the Iron Golem, so yes. And no, my battery, don't do this! <laughs> so, um, first thing in the bag is your lanyard thing as well as attendant of minecon 2015 and of course it's got the minecraft and the mojang logo you know all that good jazz hope maybe one day this won't say attendant this will say like participation youtube gold thing it might not be this hopefully one day it'll be different next thing let's go in here Nice little badge, nice little Minecon villager badge. Let me hold up there instead, a little easier. There we go. And of course, everything that will come out of this will basically say the exact same. But this was interesting. It's um, it's a quick job, obviously. It's a quick job. Um, but this is the official Steve of 2015, and as you can see, is cape, or as you can't see, is cape right there. Iron Golem. Coin. Coin. I'm assuming that's a Iron Golem on the coin, I'm assuming. So, the Minecon notebook, as well as pen, which you could have got YouTubers to sign. Obviously, you could have got YouTubers to sign your Minecon book, as well as yeah, your Minecon book with your pen. But I saw one YouTuber, uh, Thin Graphics, I shook his hand, I talked to him about his art and how good he was, and that was pretty much it. So, yeah. A tinnery, um, I, that, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? What are you? What are this? Oh, my ticket. My, my, my ticket. Here's something. So the AT guys was there, so they were giving these free things out. They even gave like a pixel on sticker type thing. And also... Oh no! No, it's giving me the flashy warning! 
No! Also, people were giving out cards, like YouTubers were giving out cards, and the only one I got was this. This was the one I got. Pirelia got another one, which was quite ingenious, actually. It was like a clothes peg design, and he stuck it to people's bags without them noticing. So when they saw it on their bag, and it even said, you know, if you have one of these tickets, tweet me a photo of you holding this, I'll come and sign it for you. And I thought that was pretty ingenious. And plus, this actually worked, because I looked up her channel, and she does a lot of modded things, and the best thing is, she actually sounds like she knows what she's doing when it comes to these modded things. And I thought, you know, maybe try and collab with her, because... Oh, family. Okay, where was I? Um... What was I talking about? Minecon. Going through bag. Card. Pixel thing. Her. Knows what she's talking about. Oh! Try and collab with her! But the thing is, she's got like 200 more subscribers more than me. Like, I think closer to 300. So I'm pretty much stuffed. <laughs> so I don't think I'll ever be able to. Maybe, possibly, maybe one day. And I was telling Pirelli this the other night, and he's just like, get some guts and just ask her. And I'm like, no, but she has more subscribers than I do. It would never happen. Then the final thing in my bag, I get, this doesn't come with the bag, but the final thing in the bag is the, the mine crack thing. <laughs> Minecraft thing, it can't, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty awesome. It's, I like it, it's you, it's, I, I like it. It's really good. I could've got, I could've, I should've, I should've, you know, gone to the panel and just be like, hey, can you sign this? And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't happen. Um, but it also comes with stuff on the back, which is pretty coolish, kinda. So, you know, everyone who went to Minecon kinda gets a little bonus for things. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah, that's my Minecon over, and it was brilliant. It really was, you know. I wish I could have made, like, friends while I was there, you know, but I just don't have the, I just, I'm not the type of person that'll go up to a, another person and talk to them. I'm fine as soon as they come to me, I, I, I won't stop talking, well, no, I will stop talking, but when I, when going up to them, I don't do that, I don't go up to people and start talking to them. Like I said, I'm fine with people coming up to me and talking. But I don't go to them. So yeah, that's um, that's gonna be pretty much it. Minecon was brilliant. I met Pirelia for the first time face to face. That was brilliant as well. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. So maybe I'll go to next Minecon. Maybe the next Minecon I'll go to. I'll actually have a couple more subscribers and people will actually know who I am. I highly doubt that. I really do, but you never know. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. One day. I doubt it. You never know. So as I was saying, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in another video.